Now at 4.30, police are investigating this morning after a second person was hit and killed by a car in Madison County. The first happened yesterday afternoon. The second happened late last night. An Eastern Kentucky family is asking for help finding a loved one who disappeared nearly five months ago. And police in Lexington looking for a man who they say robbed a motel late last night. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from WKYT News. Welcome in on this Tuesday. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Let's get a first look at the weather right now with meteorologist Micah Harris. And mainly clear skies out and about. Things look pretty good once again this morning. I don't see any issues. Maybe a little fog settling in some of those low lying areas. Temperature wise, feels great. 57 degrees in many locations this morning. Very popular number. Then we hit the afternoon. We'll be right there in the upper 70s, close to where we finished off yesterday. It'll be warm, it'll be sunny, and that's going to be the case the next few days. But I will show you a front in our forecast, and that'll bring us some rain coming up in about 10 minutes. All right, see you then. Thank you. New this morning, Lexington police are searching for a man who they say robbed a motel. Police said it happened just after 10 last night at the Red Roof Inn on Will Height Drive. Investigators say a man with a white bandana over his face walked into the motel and demanded cash. Staff members told police they think he had a gun. Investigators say once the man got the cash, he ran off in an unknown direction. They say the suspect is a black male, about five foot nine, and was seen wearing a red hoodie. Also new this morning, WKYT tracking a stabbing overnight in Garrett County. It happened just after midnight this morning on Mason Avenue in Lancaster. Lancaster police say a man and woman were fighting when the woman stabbed the man near the top of his head. They say the man was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Police say they are currently looking for the woman. Firefighters say a woman had to be cut out of her car after a crash in Lexington. It happened just after 5 yesterday on North Cleveland Road. Firefighters say a car and minivan hit head on as each came around a curve. They say the woman in the car was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Firefighters say the man in the minivan had minor injuries. This morning, we've learned that a Lexington teenager was not wearing a helmet when he was badly injured in a moped crash. 18 year old Trey Mason's mother tells us she had bought him a helmet, but she is not sure why he didn't have it on. Police say Mason crashed into a trailer that was being pulled by a truck after losing control of his moped on New Circle Road Friday. He is currently in critical condition at UK Hospital. His mother says a stranger helped him and stayed by his side until emergency crews arrived. There is a lady um, named Donna Martin Cottingham who actually saw Trey get in the accident and she stayed with him and she prayed and I would like to tell you thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that for a complete stranger that you did not know. I would like to thank you for that. Mason's mother says he has been able to open his eyes and he responds to some questions from doctors and his family. This morning, state police are investigating after a second person was hit and killed by a car in Madison County. The most recent happened around 8.30 last night on Mount Vernon Road near Berea. The Madison County coroner was called to the scene, but the victim's identity has not been released. Investigators say they haven't figured out what led to the accident, but did say the victim was hit while walking. State police currently leading the investigation. As we just mentioned, that was the second deadly accident to occur in Madison County yesterday. Richmond police say another person was also hit and killed earlier in the day. And that accident happened around 3 yesterday, just off Berea Road behind Kroger. Investigators say 56 year old Eileen Powell was hit by a truck while walking along the road. WKYT's Monique Blair spoke with some of Powell's friends and family and has more on that story from Madison County. And you don't ever want to see anything like that. A few minutes before 3 o'clock on Monday, Brian Daniels was driving on Berea Road when he says he saw something that will affect him forever. Traffic was stopped and there was this woman laying right there in the street. Richmond police say 56 year old Eileen Powell was walking on Berea Road when a 2007 Toyota Tacoma that was leaving the rear Kroger parking lot struck Powell. She was taken to Baptist Health where she died. Lord, this is one of the worst things that ever happened to me. It is like losing a daughter, not a daughter-in-law, but a daughter. Eileen has lived in this trailer park with her husband and her mother-in-law for several years. And Monday afternoon, she was on her way to do something nice for them when she was hit. I told her today, I said, you want to go down and get us a hamburger from McDonald's? And she's eager to go. Eileen never made it to McDonald's, but just minutes before the accident, she stopped into the local laundromat where she was well known and had several friends. 
and she stops in and usually gets uh, a Pepsi in the plastic bottle here at the laundromat and, and sits around and talks to us and that's what she did today. She cared for people, you know. She just done everything for me and her husband. She waited on us handing food if we needed it. It upset him something terrible, I know. In Richmond, Monique Blair, WKYT. Richmond police are still investigating, but they say the driver of the Tacoma has not been charged. Well, a grand jury has indicted a Madison County teacher accused of having sex with a student. The Madison County grand jury indicted Brandy Whitaker yesterday on multiple charges, including rape, sodomy, sexual abuse, and evidence tampering. Whitaker teaches at Madison Southern High School. Police say she had sex with a 16 year old student. School officials say Whitaker has been suspended with pay. Eastern Kentucky University is offering a $10,000 reward as investigators look for those responsible for a threatening message found on campus. EKU leaders say the message was found late Sunday night in a men's restroom in the Powell Building. The message said, kill all by 10 8 15. EKU leaders say they are taking the threat seriously and police have increased patrols on campus. As a precaution, Model Laboratory School on campus will be closed for the rest of the week. Well, a woman disappeared without a trace nearly five months ago, but state police say they have no idea what happened to Natasha Jones. Now police are asking for help to find the Knott County mother. Jones's grandmother spoke with us about their family search for answers. WKYT Sam Smith has more. We love her and we want to know where she's at. Not knowing where Natasha Jones is has been hard on her grandmother, Ola Schaffens. Well, everybody's, you know, just uh, hoping and praying that... Um, she comes home, but everybody's upset and tore up and, you know, you just like you're been hung out in space and you're just hanging there. Chafin says she last saw her granddaughter here at the house back in May. Chafin's left for a doctor's appointment and when she came back home, her granddaughter was gone. That's her two boys, Hunter and Connor. Well, she could be a fun loving person. She, most times she was, she was with her boys and and did a fine job with them. Kentucky State Police are asking for the public's help to find Jones. They've received several tips in this case, but none have led investigators to her. They even drained a pond in the Clear Creek community of Knott County, hoping to find answers, but they didn't have any luck. Everybody wants her home. That's what we all want. Jones is 5'7", 110 pounds, with blonde hair and green eyes. Her family has not given up. They want closure. Regardless of what it is, we want an answer. In Knott County, Sam Smith, WKYT. And family members are offering a $5,000 reward to help bring Jones home. Well, we have a bizarre story for you this morning out of northern Kentucky. Police say the owner of a reptile shop was attacked by a large python. It happened at the captive born reptile shop in Newport yesterday afternoon. Police say the owner was cleaning the snake's cage when it bit him and then wrapped itself around the man's body. Yikes. When police arrived, they say they uncoiled the snake and managed to put it back into a cage. They say the owner was unconscious, but they were able to revive him. He was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Police say the snake is 20 feet long, weighs about 125 pounds. Mm, amazing story there. Uh, after asking for your ideas on improving city pools and aquatic centers, Lexington Parks and Recreation leaders say the results are in. Officials say thousands of people took part and offered up ideas through online surveys over the summer. Parks and Recreation leaders say many people suggested an indoor year-round pool, longer pool hours, and a longer pool season. Leaders say folks would also like to see features like a lazy river or tall water slides added to pools. City leaders say they will discuss the survey results in the coming months. Well, management officials for the new 21C Museum Hotel in downtown Lexington say they are now accepting reservations. Crews are still working on turning the old First National Bank building at the corner of Main and Upper into the hotel, but folks can now start placing reservations for April 15th and beyond. We checked the hotel's website for rates, and the room, a room in the night of the Kentucky Derby, for instance, starts at nearly $400. The 21C Museum Hotel is expected to open early next year. All right, looks fancy. <laughs> it does. It looks very interesting. Uh, coming up on 440 on WKYT this morning, and we're just getting started. Planning priorities and perspective. Coming up in today's Moms Every Day Minute, find out how these three concepts keep a mother of quintuplets sane. 
We're in the 50s this morning. It's another good start to the day. The nice weather train continues to roll on. I'll show you that in your forecast and also a rain chance coming up.